Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from basicboardgovernance.ca. Today I'm talking about reducing the number of goals that you've set um, for your organization. So January, again, um, a month where we're all doing lots of planning. And of course, we're usually filled with optimism at the beginning of the year about this whole 12 month period in front of us and all of the things that we're going to get done during this particular year. And interestingly enough, um, what we're, we're seeing in the literature for sure around planning and focus is that people who set a lot of goals have more trouble achieving the goals than people who set fewer goals but focus on that. And some of the reason for this is that when you switch from one task to another, you leave a little bit of your attention behind um, every time that you do that, that switching. So there can be some real benefits to focusing on one thing, um, particularly as a group, to get an entire group focusing on one thing, you may find that um, the goals are achieved more easily. The contrast to say having 10 goals and moving one kilometer closer to achieving each of those 10 goals would be what if you only worked on one goal and you got 10 kilometers closer to achieving that goal. So what I'm suggesting you think about when you're doing your strat planning this month is whether it would make more sense to set up your goals kind of in order. Work on one or two um, first and when you've achieved those then work on the next ones rather than having like I said 10 goals that you're trying to work on all of them at once. The idea of there being 10 priorities probably means that nothing is a priority because everything's a priority. How do you differentiate there? So take a little while in January when you're doing your strategic planning and see if it wouldn't make more sense to sequence your goals rather than starting working on all of them in January.